Hey art friends, we're gonna draw a candy apple today. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker and some paper. You ready to draw Mrs. Hubs? Oh yes. We're first gonna start by drawing our stick sticking out of our apple. We're gonna start by drawing a little curve right here in the middle of our paper. Yes, and then we're gonna draw two lines going up out of that little curve. Do you like candy apples? I love candy apples. Yeah, what's your favorite Halloween candy? And we're gonna connect these two at the top. Reese's peanut butter cups. Reese's peanut butter cups? Yeah, I eat way my... too many of them. <laughs> That's one of my favorites too, Reese's peanut butter cups, but also like Heath bars. Oh, that mm. is a good one. Yeah. All right, you ready to keep going? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's draw the apple next. We're gonna draw a big circle that goes around our stick. So we're gonna start here, come around. This is for apple. We're gonna draw a big apple. Yeah, and I like the shape of your oh, apple. It looks kind of gumdroppy. Yeah, it does. That's okay, right? Okay, that's the most okay. important thing is what? To have fun. Yeah, have I'm fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> and to what? What's the second most important thing? Practice. Oh, practice. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the caramel. We're going to draw a big curvy line that goes from the left side over to the right side. Then usually because there's so much caramel on the apple, there's a little puddle of caramel down at the bottom, right? Yes. So we can draw another curvy line that comes around outside of the apple and then back in. Okay. Ooh, oh, mine's lots really of, big. Yeah, lots of caramel. I mean, more, more caramel, the better. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> I like there we it. go. All right, what's our caramel apple missing? A funny face. A funny face, yeah. Let's draw two eyes. I'm gonna draw a big circle here and a big circle over here. And if you want, do you want to draw one winking? Oh yeah. You could draw a big circle and okay. then a sideways V. Okay. Yeah, and then a sideways V. Maybe like... Down and then over. That. Yeah, perfect. And now in the eye, we're gonna draw it shiny, so let's draw light reflection. We're gonna draw smaller circles in the top right, and this one you could leave, leave off, because it's closed. And then we're gonna draw even smaller circles down here in the bottom left. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave the two little ones white. All right, now we need to draw the mouth. Do you want to do kissy lips? Oh yeah. You could do a uh, letter th or the number three right there for okay. kissy lips. And I'm gonna draw a mouth with the tongue sticking out. <laughs> so I drew a line straight across and then a U, and then I'm gonna draw another curves like this and then color this in. Oh, he's funny. And then a straight line down. And I really like your kissy mm -hmm. lips. Okay. It looks like your apple wants to kiss mine. Oh, I think so. <laughs> kiss your apple. <laughs> okay, we're all done. We finished drawing our candy apples. They look really cool, except they're gonna look even better once we do what? Color. Yeah, we gotta add color. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. finished coloring our candy apples and we also added some extra details. I really love your cute little bow. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and then I added sprinkles and I also added some shading to try and make it look more 3D. But you can leave the shading off to keep it a little easier. We hope you had fun drawing your candy apples with us. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. Remember, you can add your own details to your own candy apples and it's okay that they look different because the most important thing is to have fun. Yes, to have fun. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. I love drawing with you. Thanks for drawing with me, Mrs. Hubs. <laughs> if you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.